Well, let's see. Take you into the man cave. Now remember, this is not completely done yet. There's the old stereo. And Whiskey's bed for when he wants to hang out with me. Here's the wonderful, wonderful piece of art that my good friend Colleen Nelson did of me at the cornerstone at the end of the Mason-Dixon line, southwest Pennsylvania. So let's go over here. See some of my Nittany Lion stuff that my beautiful bride, Amy, bought for me. So, and a wonderful gift by my friend Eric Fisher at our wedding. So I'll go over to the other side. A great picture, illustration of my lady and some of my awards from over the years. You might uh, really get a kick out of this one. Yeah, that's pretty good, huh? Okay. And when I left the Post-Gazette, all wonderful people there made me a couple of pages. And this is McConnell's Mill uh, State Park uh, on the Slippery Rock Creek. My favorite creek of all time. One of my photos. Let's skip some of the junk here. And, well, there's some junk. There's my old Point Park baseball jacket. And, of course, I didn't play baseball because I couldn't hit the water if I fell out of a boat, but that's another story. And hanging up here, we got the front page of the PG that they gave me. You can see my reflection in the background. My old alarm clock. Back above the door to remember my Pennsylvania roots. And that's about it, huh? So welcome to the man cave.